In this video, let us see what are chords and why we learn them. Let's start with a real life example. Let's take example of a bow and arrow. So this is the bow and this is the string and these are the arrows here. We have shown this bow and arrow with the help of a schematic diagram. So this part here is the bow which is part of a circle and pink line here is the string and this is the arrow. So the pink line here which represents the string is an example of chord in real life. So let's focus on chord of a circle. So let's define a chord. Chord is a line segment connecting any two points on the circle. So if we have two points on the circle, let's call this point as A and this point as B. So chord is a line segment joining these two points. Let us suppose that this is the center of the circle. Diameter also is a chord of the circle and in fact it is the largest chord. So this is the diameter, we can call it CD and it is a chord which passes through the center of the circle. Let's call the center of the circle O. Now let's see places where we apply properties of chords. This is a spherometer which is used for measuring the radius of curvature of spherical surfaces. So here we have a spherical mirror whose radius of curvature we have to find out and the bottom portion just denotes that this spherical mirror is a part of sphere. Spherometer measures the radius of curvature of this spherical mirror using the properties of chords. Let's look at some examples and non-examples of chords. So here EF is a chord because it's a straight line joining two points on the circle. CD and AB are non-examples of chords because these are curved lines. Further, let's take some more examples. QT is the chord and VT is not a chord as it has only one point on the circle. Similarly, VU, OS are also not chords and PR is also not a chord because it does not join two points on the circle. So in this video we have learned that chord of a circle is the line segment joining any two points on the circle. Largest chord of a circle is its diameter. We also learned benefits of study of chords, its applications in science. We also saw examples and non-examples of chords.